three, two. I don't say one. Hi, I'm Kent Peterson. I'm the uh, e-bike guy here at Bike Friday. Hey, hey wait a minute. Uh, Yarl, are you screwing around with the zoom lens? Uh, pull up, pull up. Hey, you got me in the frame now? Okay, all right, let's start over. Hi, I'm Kent Peterson. I'm the e-bike guy here at Bike Friday. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about LIGO batteries. Um, I love these little batteries, uh, except when I hate them. And um, the reason I love them is they're super, super smart. And the reason I hate them is they're a little too smart sometimes. Um, these batteries, they, um, are, for one thing, they have a little switch on them, and you got to turn them on. And one of the things that's tricky is the guys at Grin who make the LIGOs, they put in all kinds of really sophisticated stuff. These are the smartest batteries I've ever seen. Um, and sometimes they outsmart you. So what happens is that they're lithium batteries and they want to protect themselves. So if you leave them alone for a while, they go into what we call deep sleep. And that's basically the battery itself is not turned on. You're, most people are used to a battery, you pop it in, it works. This, if it's in deep sleep mode, it's not going to do anything for you. So um, there's a little switch on it, and you turn it on, and what you want to do is you want to get it so it's showing a nice little green light. And these, um, these batteries are fully charged, so the green light's all the way up the end. But the, where the green light is uh, just shows you how much power it's got. Now, here's the thing. If you um, leave them alone for long enough, say you're traveling or you put, your bike a, you put your bike away for a week or so, it'll shut down and go into deep sleep. And when you go to turn it on, it's not there. So you've got to press the little switch on the batteries. But here's the tricky thing. If you press the switch too quick, see how it lit up red? and then went right back to sleep. All that did was it thinks, oh, it just wants me to check the power level. So it did that, lit up some of the LEDs, and this guy's back to sleep again. So you gotta press and hold it long enough. And then, when you get a green guy staying lit, you're good. And you gotta turn each of these guys on individually. So now we have two that are awake, and one that's still asleep. Okay, now we got three guys that are awake. And uh, here's another thing that's really um, kind of dumb, actually. That I just got through saying that these batteries are smart. But if you plug it, if you plug a sleeping battery into the charger, it doesn't wake up. It uh, it just sort of ignores it. So if you're going to charge your batteries, turn them off. And on means green light's lit. So that's the, uh, that's the key, and then if you leave them alone, they'll shut off, but you can also shut them off by hand, pressing and holding this guy until it lights up red, and then wham, it goes back to sleep. So that's basically it, uh, but the number of phone calls I've gotten from people going, hey, my bike's not working, I'm like, oh, your bike's working fine, it's your batteries, they're kind of asleep at the switch. So that's, that's it, that's the one annoying thing about LIGOs, but it's actually a very cool thing because it prevents the batteries from uh, completely depleting themselves. So you can store these for a long period of time and not have any problems. The only problem is you got to wake them up when you bring them off storage. That's it.